In the last video, we randomly chose different uh, textures based on uh, weights. And in this video, we're going to randomize the color and the size. First, something that's been driving me crazy, click on one of the cameras and remove an audio listener. Because I keep getting this, there are two audio listeners in the scene, so fix that. Now in the code, for the, we already have min size and max size to randomize between. We also want some colors for color one and color two. And if you save that and go into space background, you'll be able to choose these colors. And what this, how this is gonna work, let's say I have red and I have yellow. Well, it's gonna randomly pick something between these two colors. It might be pretty red and kind of yellow or very yellow. And uh, just do that for all your textures. Choose something you think might be good. Okay, next go in Assets, Materials, and click the material we used for all of our, of our space background objects. And this was the first one I made, so this is the material that's being copied. We used Unlit Transparent, which works when they're all white, but you'll see there's no color choice here. So we're going to have to choose another shader. And the one that I have found has worked, I really just looked around for transparent sort of shaders. There's a transparent diffuse. Now that has a color, so we're gonna go with this. And in our code, when we make the space object, we just have to change the color and the material. So right here we got the material of that space object, and we're gonna do a little shortcut here. So material, matte. And then instead of all this, we can just talk about that. So this texture one's still gonna work, but now we're also going to change the color using that, that uh, object info, but we want to interpolate between color one and color two randomly. So first we're going to get a new color, and that's going to be a lerp between our first color and our second color. And now we give it a number from 0 to 1. If we give it 0, it's going to be color 1. If we give it 1, it's going to be color 2. And so if it's 50, if it's 0 0.5, it'll be halfway between these two. So we just want to make a random number. And you'd think you could do just 0 to 1, but this might, this might be a problem because if, if you hover over it, it might say int random range and int min and int max. And if this gives an integer, it's going to be actually 0 or 1 or just 0. So you got to put an F so that it uses the float random range. And then here we're just going to change that color to new color. And save that. Press play. And this is a little funny. Um, but actually, if we look at the colors we set, we have a, the alpha is it all invisible. Uh, instead of setting the alpha to 1 instead of 0, um, this is transparency. Just in the code, I'm going to make one more change. New color dot A is just going to be 1. And we'll save that. Press play. There we go. It's uh, getting colorful. It's a little crazy, but at least they're color. Next, we're going to want to work with size. And this is just going to be a percent of what it is now. So this, the size we see is going to be 1 for 100%. We're probably going to want it to be 1 to 8 or 5 to 20. So for these stars, I'm going to make the minimum size 2 and the max size 10. And for planets and nebulas and galaxies, probably a lot bigger. But just fill in these values yourself, something you, you want. So now we just need to change the size of new space object. So down here, new space object dot transform local scale is a new vector three. And we're gonna stretch it on X, Y, Z all the same. From object info, we're gonna use min size, something between min size and max size. So we're gonna make a new float called 
new size. It's going to be something between min size and max size. And so we're going to stretch on x, y, and z all the same amount. Save that. And there's a lot more going on now. I'm actually going to want to reduce how much stuff is being generated because they're big now. There's a planet there, but it's covered by stars and all kinds of madness. So in space background, at the bottom, just change space object count to maybe 100. And it's a little bit crazy, but it's definitely looking a little bit more space-like. Now the problem is, is we're getting these really big objects sometimes. We're getting too many of them. Even though it's really rare, you know, if I have 20 rare events, maybe I'll get two and it really dominates it. So now we're going to look at the count. And the way this is going to work is for random weight, we're going to roll the dice a, th a hundred times. But for count, we're just going to always generate that many. So let's say for planets, I could set my, my planets are rather large, so I'm going to set their random weights to zero, so there's no way we can roll that dice. But I want planet one to happen once. And same with the stars, I'm going to put those to zero and make one star. And I'm just going to put the nebulas for now to zero. galaxies down to maybe zero and but we'll guarantee a galaxy three and a galaxy two and other than that we're going to have a lot of galaxy one whatever that is and a lot of stars to fill and to use it we're just going to add something here so this is where we roll that dice that many times now instead we're just going to go through whoops we're going to go through all of our object infos, object infos, and for every single one, we're going to check if its count is greater than zero, then we're going to make a space object using that one. But now how many times do we want to do it? Well, we're going to have to have another loop actually. So we're going to do it that many times. In. Well, I didn't write any curly brackets, but that will work because they're all one lines. We'll press play and see what we got. Okay. And there's a planet there. Definitely looking space-like. This background's a little crazy, but that's just, you know, the settings I gave it. There's one last issue. In the next video, we're going to fix this. This planet here, it's a planet and yet there's stars on top of it. It's also fighting with some other plane. So we're gonna have to, to polish that up, but then we'll have a nice background generator with some planets and, and everything.